is Thursday. The time here is already passing so quickly. Today we're going down to Central Park and we're going to walk around the Upper West Side and we're going to some museums too. I'm really excited for the Met. And for my outfit today, I have this Rory Gilmore sweater. And then I have this lace top that I got from PacSun. And then I'm also wearing a skirt and some fleece line tights. And I have a white bow in my hair. And for breakfast today, we're going to this place called Modern Bread and Bagel. They have gluten-free bagels and also vegan cream cheese. So I'm really excited. For my makeup today, I used this, this e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. And I don't like it. It's really dry. And the texture was a lot thicker than a CC Cream should be. It seemed more like a foundation. I'll show you the view from my window during the day look how pretty i can't believe we're on the 19th floor it's kind of scary like when you stand down here and it's cool to be able to see the empire state building over there i had a pretty good day yesterday but it was so cold we walked down by battery park we were down in the financial district for a while we were taking pictures on wall street and it was just so cold and so windy i definitely didn't dress for the elements because it was 50 degrees out so i thought oh it's not going to be that cold but with the wind it felt way colder I should have worn two pairs of pants, but it's okay. I really like Soho. I went to Joe and the Juice there, and then also I went to the Brandy Melville store. I got a t-shirt that says New York on it because I've been wanting to get a New York thing from Brandy Melville for the longest time, and I thought it would just be fun to actually buy one here instead of buying it online. And this is the shirt that I bought. Hold on, it's inside out. It's just a really nice beige t-shirt, and it says New York in dark blue letters. I really like it. And it's 100% cotton and the texture feels really nice. And I like that for their shopping bags, they give you a tote bag instead of just a plastic bag. It's nice. Our hotel room is nice, but it's a little small. You can see, there's not much space to put your stuff. It's just the bed and then a small bathroom. I do like the view a lot though, it's very nice. Okay, so we got our bagels from Modern Bagel, and then I got the Everything Bagel with vegan cream cheese. It's really good, actually. I was worried I might not like the cream cheese, because sometimes I don't like it when they put too much, but it's actually pretty good. And the bagel has a really nice texture. I also got a cold brew with soy milk and caramel. Rate it like a 7 out of 10. It's pretty good, but it's nothing special. It's like a pretty standard cold brew. but we're at the Belvedere Castle right now in Central Park.
A, B, and B grade. This is an accessible station. The elevator is at the front of the platform. So it's Friday. I can't believe how fast the week is flying by, but today we're going down to Brooklyn. We're walking the Brooklyn Bridge today, so I'm really excited to get some pictures. And after that, we're going to go to some of the markets in Brooklyn. And I want to go to this cafe that's really popular. There's a few, they have multiple chains in New York City, but it's called Devotion, and it looks so cute inside. I really like the aesthetic of the coffee shop. And I've heard the coffee's really good there, so I'm excited to try it. And then later today, we have tickets booked for Summit 1, which looked really pretty. It has a bunch of mirrors that reflect. I don't know, it looked really nice. And hopefully we can get there around, like, the end of the sunset, so we can still get some nice sunset pictures. It's also really sunny out today, so I'm hoping it stays that way. Just love this view. I also brought this hat that says Brooklyn, New York on it so I can take pictures on the Brooklyn Bridge. Very touristy. I'm so thirsty today. But yesterday was really nice. I love the Met. It was so big. There was so much stuff to see. I really enjoyed seeing all the different art and like different artifacts and stuff. And I love Central Park too. It was so nice to walk around. I just love parks in general so I was having a great time. And the place that we picked for dinner was so good. It was called uh, Raku and it was near Central Park and their prices were so good. I got a bento box that included teriyaki salmon spicy tuna rolls you got six for one roll and then vegetable gyoza like dumplings and i think i got five or six of those dumplings and then it also came with broccoli and rice miso soup and then you got ice cream at the end too so i think that's such a great deal for 25 dollars especially in new york city because even where i live i feel like bento boxes are normally a little more expensive than 25 or you don't get as much food so i was really excited about that i was so hungry yesterday so that was perfect i'm not sure where we're going to eat yet today but we'll figure it out later yeah i'm excited to go walking on the bridge this is my outfit for today i have my hat and then i'm wearing this green sherpa that i got from american eagle my mom got it for me for christmas then i have a white sweater I'm wearing a white shirt underneath in case I want to take this sweater off. And the flared leggings are from Aerie, and then I just have my New Balance sneakers. And my purse, this is from Five Below actually, which is crazy because it's so cute for only $5. But yeah, we're off to the Brooklyn Bridge. got done walking the Brooklyn Bridge and right now we're walking to a Devotion in Brooklyn. We're about 15 minutes away. I'm so excited to get coffee. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vapor, come away. My room is a mess, it could use a hand, my favorite TV shows. 
forever be ingrained in the fabric of New York City.
desserts. I used to love the tarts. Oh my gosh. Just finished getting dinner at a restaurant called Nitsa. It was on 9th Avenue in Hell's Kitchen and right now we're walking to the M&M store. It's actually about to snow in an hour so I'm really excited to see the snow in New York City. And I'm actually staying for two more days now because there's a really bad snowstorm in Buffalo and they delayed my flight till Monday so I have to stay later now. Sunday. So since my flight got canceled, I'm actually here for two more days for Sunday and Monday. My flight got canceled because there was a really bad snowstorm in Buffalo and they just canceled all the flights on Saturday. So uh, Sunday today, I couldn't get a flight home because I think everyone rebooked for today. The only flights that were left were ridiculous because it's only an hour and a half flight for me and all the flights had multiple layovers in different states. So the flights were eight hours long. So that's crazy. I just wanted a direct flight back since it's such a short flight so I rebooked for Monday at 4 p.m. so I'm here till Monday at 4 and my friend has a business event that she's going to today and tomorrow so I have a bunch of time by myself so I think I'm going to go to some coffee shops today I'm going to go cafe hopping I'm also going to be making a separate video where I rate all the coffee shops that I've gone to so far during my whole week in New York but the first coffee shop that I'm going to is Variety Coffee Roasters it's in Manhattan and it has really good reviews and I saw a few videos of it as well so I'm really excited to try it and then I might go to Stumptown as well but yeah I'm excited to get some coffee and something to eat because all I had so far today was half a Krispy Kreme donut and it's already 11 30 so I've got to get going it is really cold out today too it's like 35 degrees so hopefully I don't freeze while I'm walking I love being on such a high floor but yeah let's go get some coffee
say time is a healer Just you wait and So it's my last day here and I'm having a bit of trouble with packing this morning. It's been a rough one. I was supposed to leave two days ago and I had everything packed really well. Like my backpack was really well organized and everything fit well. But since I had to stay for two extra days, I started taking things out and using it. And now that I tried to pack it for a second time, it's just like nothing was fitting well. I don't know, like I couldn't get it organized in the backpack. It just seems so over full. Backpack's huge. I might check my suitcase and then I can just have the backpack pack as a carry-on because I feel like it's getting too big to be a personal item and it's really heavy but yeah I'm just really struggling with packing this morning right now it's 11 and I have to leave for my flight around 12 30 so so I think I'm going to get coffee somewhere nearby like just so I can go on a quick walk around one last time before I leave New York City some coffee and then I'll come back to the hotel by like 12 15 and then i can leave for the airport it takes about an hour and 10 minutes from times square to jfk so i have to make sure i'm on time my flight leaves at 3 40 p.m today i'm really gonna miss the view out the window stressed out because I feel like my bag is a mess and I have my electronics everywhere so I'm worried about going through security. I always get stressed when I fly that like I'm gonna get yelled at or something because I'm always so disorganized but I had an amazing trip. It was really nice to stay with my friend Serene and see her again and hang out and I had a really fun time exploring New York City. Though I think I would like it better in the summer even though I live in New York State so I'm kind of used to cold weather. At the same time, I don't live in a walkable city, so I'm used to driving everywhere, not walking everywhere in the dead of winter. I was taking the subway a lot, but still, I was just so cold when I was walking around. And I feel like that was making it a little harder to enjoy things. Like, I was just getting cranky because I was so cold, but I did have a good time overall. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know if you've ever been to New York City. And if you have, what's your favorite thing to do? here also if you're interested in food videos i'm going to be making a lot of vegan meal ideas and vegan what i eat in a day kind of videos so if you're interested in that kind of content please subscribe i'm also going to be doing a lot of like productive weeks and productive day in my life videos this year because i'm trying to be really productive this year so i'll be doing those kinds of videos too and yeah thank you again for watching i'll see you in the next video bye